Indonesia is close to sign a deal for Brahmos missiles with India, and promising negotiations are underway with three more nations. Adani Defense Hyderabad has delivered the first locally manufactured Tristi 10 male UAV drone to the Indian Navy, and will soon deliver it to the Indian Army, that has been ordered under emergency financial powers. Maldives President has praised China's Belt and Road Initiative project, and has said that there is no doubt that China will be our closest partner. The Indian government is now moving ahead with plans to develop a dual-purpose airfield at Ninakoi Islands, where it would operate both fighter jets MQ-9B drones and civilian aircraft. Japanese firm SkyDrive has signed a memorandum of understanding with IIT Hyderabad, to collaborate on unmanned logistics drone technology to expand the drone market in India. DRDO has signed a letter of arrangement with Britain's Defence Science and Technology Laboratory, for collaboration in defence research and development. The troops of Indian Army and UAE Land Forces have exhibited high standards of synergy during exercise Desert Cyclone in Rajasthan. Greek firm Spirit Aeronautical Systems and India's Garuda Aerospace have entered into strategic cooperation to redefine the landscape of drone manufacturing and distribution in India, Greece, Europe and Africa. Indian Navy's P-8I long-range maritime patrol aircraft has landed at Guam to participate in the Sea Dragon 2024 multinational maritime exercise with the navies of the United States, Australia, South Korea and Japan. General Electric Aerospace and Defense President has said, that General Electric will soon share a detailed technical proposal to establish a manufacturing unit in India with Hindustan Aeronautics, that will kick off formalizing the agreement with HAL and the Indian government. The top executive also said, that the scope of the technology transfer to HAL will be 80%, which is higher than other foreign partners, and also the option to export engines and components from India are firmly on the table. General Electric will bring over its supply chain resources to kickstart the co-production in India, and will take most of this year to get it kicked off and going. She also said, that General Electric is keen to participate in the development of next-generation jet engine for India's AMCA, and GE has a technological advantage over other competitors. As per latest information, 100 Su-30 fighter jets will undergo a full-fledged upgrade after a contract is signed this year, and the rest of the 160 aircraft will be upgraded in batches. A work share of over 1,200 crores can be expected for startups and private industries during the design and development phase. Hindustan Aeronautics will take on the upgrades as the lead system integrator, with support from the DRDO defense public sector firms as well as the private industry, while the Air Force will be the key driver, and will dedicate teams for project monitoring, software development, flight testing and evaluation. The first of the newly constructed Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets will start its first taxi trials by mid-February, and will undergo a series of flights by end of February, and it is expected to complete all necessary pre-delivery trials by March. The Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics are actively engaged in developing next-generation technologies for the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. That includes electronic pilot systems and artificial intelligence, that will enable intelligent decision support systems, automated threat detection and analysis. The DRDO has launched a dedicated barrel production facility at its armament research and development establishment in Pune, that will address the needs of private sector manufacturers, as they will receive customized barrels designed and manufactured to their specific requirements including caliber length and other critical parameters, that will empower the private manufacturers to compete effectively in the domestic and international markets. Today's top 3 comments